hello, Zari back at you again with another video. So my school had a fake casino night. Come on, Chicago. I hope you enjoy my video. So what that game is, is like you bet money and then you have to guess if the person is going to put a higher card number or a lower card number. You keep going, going until you don't get it anymore and the game stops and you lose your money. So was getting the hang of it until I lost like that didn't even take three seconds oh, God, that's it. <laughs> after playing the game for like three seconds and losing I was like you know let's take a picture in front of the casino poster so if they ever ask me have you been to casino I'll be like oh my gosh yes hey guys seriously that evening the sky was absolutely beautiful it looked like something from a movie like chef's kiss look at that the sunset like wow did you not? These girls are the sweetest ever. Basically, after making money, losing money, it came time to bet the money we made. So, my house, we said we either go big or we go home. So, we bet for the tall boss that we see. And I'm so excited for it. I can't wait, like, honestly. What Instagram can do to you? So, I was scrolling through Instagram one day and this reel pops up of bibimbap. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's this Korean dish. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try making it and I tried. I hope it came out right. I mean it tasted good, not bad. If I must say so myself, it wasn't bad. So this is basically me making the meal. Enjoy. So I forgot to mention, I'm actually fooling by the video. I didn't have an actual recipe, so my roommate was like holding the video for me. So I had to put soy sauce first, and then now I was putting sesame oil. Now I'm adding some sesame seeds. I do not like the sesame oil. Like, it's so disgusting. I don't know how people eat it. Like, personally, I don't like it. Like, mm -mm -mm. no, it's not for me. I'm actually happy my roommate suggested we split the carrot in two because the very first batch I made, it was so salty. Like when I was putting the sauce, she was like, isn't that too much? I was like, no, it's fine. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. But it was so salty. I just couldn't. So I put some sugar, some oil, sesame oil, a little bit like a pinch because I didn't want to taste it. And then I had some salt and then I just continue frying.
there you have it bibimbap i don't think i pronounced it right it's served i mean it was good so after that i was like oh why don't we just make some fruit salad so i had some oranges some peach and some prunes and then i added some fruit juice in it and i called it a night and i was so happy because i finally ate Guys, I'm here with Charlotte and we're just waiting for her food. So why walking? Actually I came to this Asian store, it's outside, and I was like, hmm, I see pho. So I said, okay, let's go try it. So now we're trying it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that looks so good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this looks so this nice. Is so good. Oh, we got the sauce too. Like I said, it's pretty little. Okay. Hello. So, I'm back from eating. So, funny story is like, my friend I ran into, Charlotte. I didn't even know I was gonna run into. Well, you never know. But like I was in the bus. What did I even go to do? Oh, actually, I went to get this from my friend. She helped me keep it last semester. But when I was getting my other stuff, I forgot to get this. But I needed to get this ASAP because I was having like sticky notes of reminders and exams and stuff. But you know, I was like, you know what? I have to go back and get my timetable and fill it in because yeah, there's a lot coming up and I don't want to miss that just because it's not like. In my face like I prefer having handwritten stuff than having everything online oh, online did it did it <laughs> okay you know the word that word so yes right now I'm about to fill it in with like um, due dates and stuff wait did I explain how I met Charlotte oh yeah actually so this is what happened right Thing this for my friend this place i had to go to this asian supermarket i googled because i was like i want to see what they have well stick around because there's a video on that coming soon but anyways that's not the point of the story one of the stories is like on the bus on my way there i meet my house housemate from first year like we're in the same residence together not the same room but the same residence and we're friends so i see her coming to the bus i'm like oh my gosh i know her and then she's like she's going to the mall but like she wants to come with me i was like oh my gosh you know what i'll go with you to do whatever because she had some errands to run the mall i was like okay i'm gonna go with you and then after that we can walk because it was like eight minutes from the mall where i was going to yeah so it's like after that we're gonna walk we're gonna walk to the mart and we go there i get what i'm getting and then after i'm like mm, i see a vietnamese full place and i was like oh wow i've been eating all day like the only thing i had since morning is coffee so i was like i have to eat and i was getting a headache so i was like i have to eat so i'm like okay let's go try it out and i 10 on 10 i recommend the food the pho was good. I've never had pho, so I can't really like say that's the best pho I've had. But 
for now. It's the best full I've ever had. It was so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I got like a bunch of other stuff as well. I got, um, what did I get? Yeah, I got some stuff, which I'm going to make a video out of like me reacting. Not reacting, like a mukbang of me trying out Asian snacks that I got. So yeah, that's another video. Anyways, less talking, more filling in my table. So I feel more organized because yeah, I've been like, been on, on top, but like I didn't have it in my face. But anyways, let's fill this in. And I'm just gonna put a time lapse because I don't think you wanna watch me do this. And at the end, I'll show you like, the after so this is before I'm done so basically what I did was I color coded every class so like like I said I have four theory classes and then I have like labs and clinicals so what I did was like each theory class has a color and like 2055 which is my adult and illness class it's like all in blue and like the blue is like the chapters that we do each week so yeah, before each class, right here, like the weekend before each class, I will do the readings. I don't think you can tell, but it says um, start readings for lectures and like that's basically what Saturday and Sundays are for. And then um, the next one is 20, 2212, which is my health and wellness class so that's everything you read so we have like discussion boards and then i have like the chapters a class 3033 is the green stuff so i have a test in two weeks i think and then the chapter readings and then i also put my clinicals in green because i didn't have any other color markers so i just used green again and what class? Oh yeah, it's my pharmacology class. Ah, 25.55, sorry. That's my med search class for adult illness. illness. And then 27.00 is my pharmacology class. So it's like stuff in black. Chapter 33, blah. And my very first test is November 2nd. Even though it seems far, like it seems very far like oh no it's okay last year i made a mistake of saying oh no it's okay when i had my anatomy class i was like no it's fine there's still time in between i can study for other classes but mm -mm. that was a mistake so this year i'm like i don't care if the test is like a year from now every single day i will study for that class so basically i have like readings like here I'm going to fill it in, but like every week, at least twice a week, I should go through the content from the week before or what I just learned, like every single week, it's gotta be here. I'm just going to put in the topics for the week. The thing is I can't really put like topics because like in one week we have, for example, here, chapter 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That's like different chapters. I can't pull up that, so I'm just going to say week one and week one because we have it once a week, so I'll be like week one and then week one means review that week's lecture. So I have like 255 readings, and this is first because I have my very first test on the on the fourth. Yeah, it's the blue on the fourth. So yeah, and then the daytime black. 
I mean, it looks. I don't know. It looks like it's all over the place, but if you like look at it, it's not because like this is 2055, 12, 2212, pharmacology class. Okay, this is a perfect example. It has every class. So I have my med search class, my health and wellness class, my pharmacology class, and then I have my family theory class. So Mondays are my busiest days, like Mondays. Like it's fully booked with classes. And this is my reading week period. And that's my birthday on the 17th after reading week. Well, not after, do your reading week. And then we come back and we have exams. So yeah, that's it. Like, over time, I'll keep adding when new stuff comes in, but I don't want to overcrowd it now, so I'm not overwhelmed. So right now, I just put in what chapters I do each week, like, so I can do it before the lectures, and whenever an assignment or um, test is coming up. So that's why I put in here. I'm just so happy this year we don't have to write papers because like I mean I don't mind writing papers but it just takes a lot from you it's fun I love it and it's quite easy to me compared to um, exams but the thought of not having to write papers makes the load easier in a sense because I know I just have to focus on the content material so well that's it so right now I'm just going to read from my family theory class because it's a very fun textbook. I'm going to read from my family th theory class and then after that I'll complete some online modules that I have to do. So yeah that's it and thank you for watching my how I organize myself. That's it so i just want to say thank you for watching my video make sure to like subscribe oh, please please subscribe to my channel because i know people watch but they never subscribe so please take the time to subscribe to my channel have a blessed day good night good morning i don't know what time you're watching it but have a very blessed day and yeah love you darlings to you darling yeah but okay one thing guys i can't be posting every single time because i started youtube as a hobby so when i have time obviously i will post a video like this one i just posted but when i don't have time yeah but in the meantime watch my other two videos watch the other two and this, I think this will be the fourth video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for sticking with me and my crazy self. Thank you. Bye now.